Um, again, happy Mother's Day to all of you. Hope you get out and um, get the opportunity to celebrate today. Or even if you're staying home, I hope you celebrate. Even if you have to celebrate yourself, that's all good too. But happy Mother's Day to all of you. I am going to go ahead and get started because I do not want to keep you too long. It is your day today. Um, welcome to Coffee Talk. And today, just want to spend a few minutes talking about mothers. But happy Mother's Day to all of you. Now, for those of you that's been with me for a while, you know I had to go back and do the history. Take a look at the history when and when Mother's Day originated. So here we go. Mother's Day originated back on May 12, 1907. Anna Jarvis of Philadelphia organized women's groups to promote friendship and health. Her daughter Anne was inspired to organize the first Mother's Day observance a few years after her mom's death, which was in 1905. And Mother's Day started as a way of showing appreciation and thankfulness to the efforts and sacrifices made by mothers. And within five years, every state was observing the day. And in 1914, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson made it a national holiday. So it is declared a national holiday. The second Sunday in May is the official Mother's Day. And I remembered this when I was a child, and, and maybe some of you still do this. I remembered going to church, and you had on Mother's Day, you had to wear either a red or a white carnation. And wearing a red or pink carnation represented a living mother or a white carnation for a mother who was deceased. And this is where this all started. And over time, the day was expanded to include others, such as grandmothers and aunts who played mothering roles. So that's how Mother's Day started. And it's amazing because Anne started this to observe and acknowledge her mom, but the woman who started it, Anne Jarvis, she never married and did not have children of her own. So I think that was so powerful. She started just to show appreciation and thankfulness to the efforts and sacrifices made by mothers. And of course, mothers come in all color, sizes, religion, and nationalities. And today, I want to just say thank you to honor all the mothers. But here's what's so powerful. And I don't know if you've really thought about this. Think about how important mothers are because they're child bearers and without mothers we wouldn't be here so today you know I always have these amazing aha moments now you may think well yeah but just think about this how important you are you know we get so caught up in the day-to-day -day sometimes we don't realize just how important mothers are. Because if you didn't give birth to us, where would, the, where would we be? Where would the world be? So if you haven't taken a minute just to acknowledge how important you are or just to acknowledge how important your mother is, and some of us, we've lost our moms. Some of, some of us, our moms have transitioned. My mom transitioned in 2000. But just think about how important their role is. Just take a minute. Because without our moms, we would not be here. So yes, I say this to honor you. You are important. You matter. Accept it. There's nothing you can do about it. You matter. And you are loved. And I couldn't wait to come on today just to acknowledge you. You are gifted. You're one of a kind. You have talent, skills, abilities, knowledge, intelligence, personality, understanding. And that makes you 
a unique person here on earth. You are valued. Accept it. You matter. You are loved. And your roles are endless. And by choice, by choice, you do them well. You're a child, you're a mother, you're a sister, you're aunt, you're a daughter, you're a wife, you're a grandmother, you're a godmother, you're a mentor, you're a professional, you're a co-worker, you're a teacher, you're a parent, head of household, planner, you're a cook, you're a housekeeper, you're the mediator at times, you're a friend, you're a leader, you're a partner, and yes, you are loved. You're a storyteller. You're the comforter. When things go wrong, we look to you. You're a nurse, you're a doctor. How many times have you taken care of scars, broken bones, flus, fever, colds? You're a nurturer. When something happens, who do you call? When you were a kid, something happened, who did you run to? You support, you provide support. You are the go-to person. You're the person people look up to. You're the backbone, you hold it together for all of us. You're the planner, celebrate. You plan all the celebrations, holidays, dinners, birthdays. You're the peacemaker, you settle arguments. You're patient and you're kind. You're a forgiver, you're the protector. You're the role model for your siblings, for your friends. Remember even as a child, especially if you had siblings and if you're the oldest, your parents used to say, you know, your siblings are looking up to you. And even now as an adult, you're the role model. You are possibilities. You make things happen. And you're beautiful inside out. You're trustworthy. People trust you. You're faithful. You are joy. You make us feel better because of who you are. You hope. You help us believe in ourselves and others believe in you. You're obedient. You follow through. You are empowered and you empower others. You're strong. You're courageous. You are excellence. Yes, you matter. Yes, you are important. Yes, you are valued. Accept it. You are loved. And just think about this. If you didn't have children, where would your children be? If you didn't have children, where would we be? If you didn't have the role, or didn't, you weren't a mom, where would we all be? You decided, okay, I'm not going to be a child bearer. Where would we be? You're the daughter that take care of your parents. You're the daughter that protect her siblings and share with them. You're the one that holds it all together. And you are the mom. And look at the difference you've made, the people you've helped, the lives you've changed, all the celebrations you've planned, all the sacrifices you've made. You stood up for others, you stood up for yourself. And you did it with love and dignity. Of all the roles you play, you choose to do them well. You are a game changer. You are the chosen one. Happy Mother's Day to all of you, to all the moms. The sisters, the aunts, the daughter, the wife, the cousin, the godmother, the mentor, the professional, the co-worker, the teacher, the parent, head of household, the planner, the cook, the housekeeper, the mediator, the friend, the leader, the helper, the partner.
happy Mother's Day. Today is your day. Just wanted to spend a few minutes. If you haven't thought about it, you are important. May God continue to watch over you and bless you. And I'm so grateful to be able to spend just a few minutes today to honor you, to say thank you, and to let you know that you are valued and you are loved. It is your day. You are important. That's Coffee Talk. Let's see if we got any um, comments. As I was preparing this, like I said, my mom made her transition in 2000. And, um, you know, you think about what you would do if you had a do-over. What you would say if you could only say it. So that's been kind of heavy on my heart. But um, whatever you decide to do today, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. I will see you back here next Sunday. That's Coffee Talk. Love and blessings to all of you. Have a great week.